My man from the audition, right? Yeah. Hey, what part you playing? Jimmy. Oh, so you got Jimmy. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Come on, give it up. <laughs> hey, I only got one line, you know. <laughs> hey, but that's cool. I understand the NAACP is going to pick at this movie because somebody read the script. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad you got the part because I would never play that part because of my values. But hey, I'm different. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Man. The NAACP could pick at me, 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 me. Standing outside the home of Bobby Taylor, a young black actor who took a lead role in a stereotypical movie about street life. The NAACP has picketed this movie, but this is the first time that an actor has ever been picketed. Here to explain is the president of the Hollywood branch of the NAACP, Mr. Jamal Harris. I hope that you're all paid up members of the NAACP Hollywood branch. Thank you. We felt we had to put our foot down by making Bobby Taylor an example. We feel the black actors should not have to accept these stereotype roles, such as crying slaves, tar babies, tar babies jungle bunnies. Jungle and I bunnies? say that as long as black actors play these roles, they'll never play the Rambos until they stop playing the Sambos. Thank you, Mr. Thank Harris. You, Thank, Mr. You, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. Harris. Thank you, Mr. Harris. There's Bobby Taylor's little brother, Steve. And I feel, oh, wait a minute, I'm not finished. Isn't this going to be in Spanish? Hey, Hold on. Hey. How do you feel about what your brother has done? He's not my brother. He's just a guy that lives in the same house. He's a winter. But you were seen down on the movie set. Isn't that true? No comment if you print that out soup. I don't have a grandson anymore. I really don't. And what am I going to do about it? I'll tell you what I'm going to do, but I am going to write me a book about it. A book? Mm-hmm. What's the name of it? Bobby Dearest. You used to work with Bobby Taylor. Could you tell me, was he always an Uncle Tom? Yeah. Yes. Always Uncle Tom. Mama, Daddy was a Tom. Uncle was a Tom. I think that Bobby Taylor is a two-bit goat-smelling spook, obviously from the Coon Repertory Theater of America. Uh, eat Tom turkeys on Thanksgiving. I'm so sick and tired of people like Bobby Taylor coming around and influencing the kids. Got my kid grabbing his Wally Shannon shoes. You ain't gonna be no star, Bobby Taylor. You come back that brown stuff on the tip of your nose. I know you're brown nosing over there. We are out here sweating like niggas going to the election in Georgia because he chooses to buck his eyes, yank on his dick, and pull those raggedy skid mark draws out of the crack of his black ass. I have nothing else to say about Bobby Taylor. Bobby Taylor, thank you. Be a star very soon. Bobby How do you feel about being with Bobby in his film career? I believe him. And I will stand by him. How do you really feel? I will stand by him. Come on, sister. As a black woman, you mean you're happy with your boyfriend with that watermelon smile? I'm proud of my race. And no, I don't like it. I really thought he was going to make the right choice, but obviously he didn't. I didn't know that he was going to act like some sort of pickaninny. My girlfriends are laughing behind my back. They ask me, does he make those kind of faces in bed? Do you make those faces in bed? Uh, sometimes. Uh... I have thought about it and thought about it. And I have come to one conclusion. We kill him. Kill Bobby, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him.